The Coastal America Partnership Award, the only environmental award of its kind given by the White House, was presented to the multi-agency partnership by the Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Army for Project Planning and Review, Mr. Doug Lamont, for their combined efforts to take on oyster restoration in the Lynn Haven River. The continued partnership is with the Army Corps of Engineers Norfolk District, Lynn Haven River Now, the Virginia Institute of Marine Science, the Virginia Marine Resources Commission, and the City of Virginia Beach. The group successfully restored a 60-acre network of permanent sanctuary reefs, making it the second largest sanctuary system in the world. They were able to really create a major restoration effort that is unique and innovative, and we believe can be replicated throughout the Chesapeake Bay, and will give us an opportunity to really truly restore the natural oyster stocks of the bay. For the people involved, they believe it is something that can be replicated throughout the bay. Without the help of the group, this project would have been just a very small thing compared to what it really is now, which is one of the greatest successes in restoration for oysters in the Chesapeake Bay. Even when the will is there, however, building a system of reefs requires a lot of patience, effort, and a strong partnership to see it through. There's nothing magical about what we've done. Any community can put together this kind of effort if um, the will is there to do it. The award is viewed by many members of the Honored Partnership as affirmation to the efforts they have done. It validates the work that we've been doing. We've had many fights both with other scientists, managers and the like and who have not believed in this approach. And this validates this collaborative, interagency approach using novel scientific methods that are very different from those used in the past. The group also says this award does not mark the end to their efforts. They all have a vision to expand upon what they have learned and apply them to possible future sanctuary reefs in the Lynn Haven River, as well as other river systems throughout the Chesapeake Bay watershed but they are looking to Congress for the necessary funding to continue their work. A key part to this is the congressional support for the Army Corps of Engineers work in the Bay, and particularly for the Norfolk District. That is a crucial, crucial part of it, to continue the, the funding so that we can uh, get the success in the other tributaries. Funding that will be used to bring back an animal, vital to the ecosystem of the Chesapeake Bay, which at one time was thought to be impossible. We need to, to tell people that the native oyster is restorable. In Virginia Beach, Virginia, Patrick Bloodgood, Norfolk District, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers.